came here to have a Friday lunch at Abu Hassan, which is the greatest hummus place in all of Tel Aviv. And this beautiful port has changed a lot and it has become uh, renewed and very welcoming. And um, it is a cultural gathering, a cultural pit where um, you can really feel coexistence. So you see Arabs and Israeli Jews working together and uh, both working together here and walking around. It's actually a fisherman sport, still active. You can come here and see in the morning, if you come here in early in the morning, you can see still the boats coming in and uh, bringing the live fish and crabs and whatever they catch of the day. And you have nice fish restaurants that you can eat really fresh. It is definitely trendy. It is very trendy and um, funky and um, very upcoming. New artists are coming and exhibiting their art here. There's recycled art, there's um, all kinds of very interesting spaces, old fabric houses that are being transformed into public spaces of restaurants and bars. And it changes with the daytime when the sun sets right here on the ocean. So becomes romantic and in the evening it becomes very cool. During the day it's a fun for families. Jaffa is amazing. You've got it's so beautiful. It's on the beach. It's very safe. Uh, it looks like it's been unchanged till Napoleon tried to conquer this place. Uh, it's got a very nice atmosphere of old and new Arabic and Jewish international cuisine. And it's just a nice place to hang out, see the boats, eat some nice mazettes. It's all good, it's all good. It's, it's, it's two minutes from the center of Tel Aviv where it's busy, hectic people are honking. And you have all this beautiful, beautiful nature that God made us. I love Jaffa. If you have the opportunity, please come to the Jaffa port because it's such a special place and come and feel the magic.